If you see more helicopters flying above Brooklyn Park and Maple Grove, there's a good reason. It's part of an important research project happening out at the Elm Creek Park Reserve. That research kicked off Thursday morning. It involves the University of Minnesota, the Three Rivers Park District, and dozens of deer. As Delane Cleveland reports, it will provide scientists and wildlife experts valuable information. More than 4,900 acres of wilderness make up Elm Creek Park Reserve. In that area are scores of white-tailed deer. We know where they are in January when we fly an aerial deer survey. We can see the deer, you know, we can tell where they are, but that's where they are in the winter. In the summer, they move into the neighborhood. We're going to get a rough guesstimate of what their chase time was. But researchers like John Moriarty from the Three Rivers Park District would like to know more about how the deer move and where they go in the summer. We think that our deer move as far as the Mississippi River. To answer those questions... Give us the three last digits of that frequency. They've partnered with the University of Minnesota, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and some expert helicopter pilots. That's all they do is catch animals. Over the course of two days, crews in the helicopter hope to catch 40 deer with a net. After they're caught, they'll use a sling to fly the deer to a central location where a team will strap a radio collar onto their necks, which will then track their movements. At the same time, researchers from the U of M will take blood and other DNA samples to test for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Right now we know that white-tailed deer can get infected with the virus SARS-CoV-2, and they're also good at transmitting it amongst themselves. We don't understand how this is happening. Similar studies are being conducted across the United States to help experts get a sense of the effect the virus has on deer populations. This study will help us determine if there's any issues with sickness or death because we will be able to individually follow these collared deer through the next two years. Capturing the deer is one thing. <laughs> Getting them to cooperate is another matter altogether. But the entire process only takes about 15 minutes before they release the deer back into the wild. It's a labor-intensive activity that will provide researchers with years of important data. I think there's going to be good public interest here, like even at the Nature Center, about like, where's deer number five today? Oh, they're over in this area, or, or better understand their movements. In Dayton, Delaney Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.